cryopods and all the medicine that coincides with cryopods are probably the most useful ways of actually treating people in Space Station 14. It's not necessarily the best at specific treatments, like for example, if somebody only has blunt damage, cryo might be a little bit unnecessary. You could actually delay treatment because of just the time it takes to use cryo. But if somebody even has probably two damage types or more, or even to split damages uh, like within the same category, uh, cryo is phenomenal. Anyways, in order to actually start using cryopods, you have to set them up. Some stations, it is incredibly easy. This station, you do not need T-rays, you don't need anything, you basically just turn everything on, and it's really that simple. This is Meta Station. Some stations don't have cryo units set up at all, and that's okay. Setting up cryo is really easy. Before I even start, I will just... You could do this with a T-ray, but I'm using um, Show Subfloor to explain this. Blue pipe is a distro pipe, and at most scenes, you will understand this completely. The blue pipe is the air being pumped into the station. So this is the air that will be pumping into the cryopods. Here, this thing right here is a gas filter, and it doesn't do anything at this exact second. What it does is, it through this side arrow on the side, this is where it will push the gas it is filtering, and every other gas that is not being filtered will keep going straight. And as you can see, this setup specifically is a loop. Uh, you could do this however you want, but a loop is a good setup for making a cryo. So... You can build this pretty much anywhere as long as you have access to the waste and uh, distro pipes. You can technically do a cryo setup without waste, but waste will build up in the cryopods and that will suffocate and poison your patients, which you obviously don't want if you're trying to treat. But if you need to build a cryopod in like a complete emergency, you just need the distro pipe to get started. But anyways, the meta set setup is very efficient and very nice. As just a chemist on the stations that have this, every station's like this, it's really simple. You have your input pump that's going to put the gas into the uh, cryopods. Always, um, You can always get a gas analyzer to actually see the pressure in the pods. This is very important. Make sure there actually is pressure in the pods before you put anyone in them. You technically only need uh, 20 kPa for people not to die, but you should get up to 100 because 100 is the station standard kPa. However, I will recommend you actually set it higher than 100. Why? Because the more pressure that's in a pod, and it's not a lethal amount of pressure, the faster your patients would get cold. Now, cryo medicine does literally nothing if the person is not frozen. So now for the gas filter, we just turn it on. We just set it to carbon dioxide and turn it on. Note, if you are treating a lot of slime people, as, as in the slime species, you may have to swap the filter to swap out uh, nitrous oxide, but it's really simple. You get to swap between the two. And finally, we need to turn the freezer on. I would just set it to 100 Kelvin. You could go lower, but if you go too low, um, patients will take a longer time to heat up once they get out of the cryo unit. So just something they consider. Okay, finally, the most generic medicine is cryoxidome. And stations like Meta actually start with them round start. Now, if I open up the chemistry menu, you can always press zero on your numpad, go to medicine. You can just type in the word cryo, and this will show all the medicines related to cryogenics. Cryoxidone is going to be the one you work with the most, and it's the easiest one to get. It's just Dexal and water and oxygen. Your chemist can make this very easily. Heals brute, toxin, air loss, and burn when the body temperature is at most 213 Kelvin. So if we examine this patient, they're still standing, so like this makes it really easy. A patient who doesn't have critical blood loss and has multiple types of damages like this is ideal for cryo this will heal you could full heal them with only a few units of cryo in a matter of like 20 seconds you don't have to waste time with syringes you don't have to waste time with pills you don't have to waste time with topicals what you do is you get your patient make sure they don't have a hard suit or a jacket on you just want them in their jumpsuit and you just click and drag them into the cryo pod now once they're in the pod also let's just double check yep we have the proper temperature in the cryo pod and a good pressure do not start putting medicine in until their body temp drops below 213 Kelvin. And the way you inject medicine in them is really easy. You just take a beaker or a large beaker and you just left click on the pod and it'll put the medicine in the pod and you'll see it will instantly start injecting them. Cryoxidone has no overdose, so you have no risk here if you aren't paying too much attention. However, I would recommend you take the medicine out because it actually over injects. Like it, they will have more units of reagents in their body metabolizing than it is, uh, like 
it's injecting it. So you can waste a lot of medicine if you're not paying attention. Like even then I wasted medicine because I didn't pull them out quick enough. Of course, Cryoxidone isn't that rare to get. It's not that hard. So feel free to waste some in order to get a patient fully healthy. Uh, and once they are fully healed, you can let them out. Of course, they're so cold. They're going to stick start taking some cold damage. There are two really easy things you could do to circumvent this. Grab a Medibot, which Meta also literally starts with one, and grab a Wrench. And you can literally just wrench the Medibot right outside of the Cryo unit. And once you take your patient out, you can just Alt-click to pull them out. Put them right next to the Medibot. Uh, the Trico will basically keep them healed until they heat uh, back up fully. And at that point, you don't even need to waste time getting medicine to warm them up. This will basically keep them from having many more issues. You can see the cold damage they're taking is very minor. The Trico will heal them, and they're already out healing the cold just like that. You could also make a medicine called Leprazine, which immediately will heat their body back up to normal. But that's an extra chem. That's an extra step for you to remember. And many bots have infinite medicine, so you might as well utilize them. Uh, for lizards, you may want to still use Leprazine because they have a harder time with cold temperatures, but they can also just sit on the Medibot and keep getting injected with no cost at all to you. So Cryoxidone is definitely the most popular medicine. It is a very, very good uh, option for healing people. Now, this is a worst case scenario. This is somebody who has only one type of damage type. It happens to be Slash, which means they're going to be suffering blood loss, asphyxiation, and, well, their original wounds. You, at this point, have to make a tough decision. You, if you could get them into the cryopod before they die, you might be able to keep them stable. However, if we can't get their blood levels up, or at least stabilize their bleeding before we get them in, cryo might be a waste. So at this point, you need to get their bleeding stopped before you put them in. If a patient is bleeding, don't put them in cryo. Stop their bleeding beforehand. So we have stopped the bleeding, but their blood levels are pretty low. Their health is stable enough that we probably could just toss them in the cryopod and they'd be fine. But what I would really recommend is using something like a blood bag or inject them with iron or copper, depending on their uh, species. Blood bags actually work on dead people, by the way, which would be very helpful for the next step uh, that I'll be explaining. Once you get their blood levels to about 80%, like so, they're definitely good enough to go into the cryopod. And even when somebody has this much damage, you can just inject them. Also, the Minibot automatically injects Epi. So if you drag a crit patient past them, I recommend setting up a Medibot like this in every single medical lab, by the way. Ask signs to make them for you. Medibots are awesome. They help crit people and they help people below 50 HP. Saves you so much time in medicine. Okay, so they have dropped below the required uh, Kelvin amount. So again, just like before with Cryoxidone, you could just throw the beaker in. And unfortunately, because it's all slash, you will need quite a lot of Cryoxidone. But this will be very useful for at least getting them out of crit. It's up to you how much cryoxidone you have, whether or not you want to use the rest of it to keep healing them. At this point, though, it might be worth just using something like um, bicaridine is okay, but you could also make the stuff that's better than bicaridine. This isn't a full med guide. This is a uh, cryo guide. Anyways, this patient's good to go. And remember, um, actually what's nice is that they will still be cold outward, so if you do waste some cryo and eject them early, it will still keep healing them if you wish to continue treatment elsewhere. Or if you just get their damage below 50, you could just let them out of the pod and stick them right on top of a medibot and tell them to wait till they get injected if once or twice and they can move on. However, we did not actually get them below that number, so this is very good. You need to pay attention to your patients. You don't want to be injecting them. You don't want to be ejecting them if they're still, well, just not that healthy, but that's like another just general med guide. We're going to talk about one of the strongest chems in cryo. Uh, it is Necrosol. Necrosol is not very easy to make, but it is possible to get it. Uh, I think there are other ways of obtaining it besides just ectoplasm and making it. I think you might be able to get it from artifacts. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, what Necrosol does is actually a chem that works on dead people. They have to be frozen still. But if we drag a dead person in, as long as they're not fully rotted, we can actually full, we can save them just like you could with topicals. But this heals quite a lot. So for people who are really dead, this is pretty much a requirement in order to get them back as long as, again, as long as they are not rotted. And this one actually does work regardless if they're alive or dead. So it's uh, definitely easier to make than Necrosol. But Necrosol also is the only one that heals uh, poison. So it's it, it really just depends on who, how they died or like what they died from. But again, Aloxidone does work on dead people and it does heal heat. 
So this is another option that you can actually make without Omnizine. So it is possible to make this. It's a bit of work. But this could bring deck back people who are dead in space with thousands of damage as well. That just, you don't want to apply 5 million ointment on. I have no fucking idea how to pronounce this one. Doxorubixidone or something like that. Also can heal genetics, so if they took a little bit of rotting damage, uh, it, this doesn't work on dead people, but once you revive them, you could stick them back in and use this to heal them as well. Uh, this is a lot easier to make as well, though, so like this is a pretty good genetic healing if you don't want to make uh, whatever the anti-cancer one is, but we're just talking about cryomedicine anyway. So now that they are sufficiently cool, we just stick the necrosol in, and we can watch it work its magic. We are watching the dead get healed at a rapid rate. Again, as soon as somebody's underneath 200 damage, you can defib them. So Necrosol is a really expensive med. You should only use it on people who have taken basically thousands of damage. Uh, but normally people get gibbed at that point, but not always. Like sometimes people who die in space end up taking like a thousand cold damage. And that's pretty much all the major benefits of Cryo. Very, very good all around healing. Uh, cooling people down and heating them up is really simple. If you have a Medibot, it's extremely simple. Uh, yeah, Cryo is really, really strong. It should be probably used in every single round. It helps you speed up treatment way faster than topicals. Um, you don't always need to be syringing every single person with, like, the, uh, the conditional medicines. If somebody has multiple damage types, Cryo is pretty much the best option you have. It's kind of just, like, frozen Omnizine. Actually, I think it heals more than Omnizine, technically. So, yeah, use Cryoxidome. Use Necrosol and Dead People if you can.